doing another elo hell a true elo hell we are doing this with chino he is gold for 1200 mmr thinks he's a diamond player it's a stretch there's a bunch of people at like 1900 mmr to 2200 mmr there aren't that many people any higher than that so we're talking that 700 to 1000 mmr jump but if you look at his games his jungle he's a jungler his jungle games are good five and three eleven and eight five and three four and three eleven and one this was a bad game ten and five nine and three five and five wait did i skip a bunch of games here hold on maybe that's what am i too far forward ah here is the good games 14 and 6 15 and 5 16 and 3 10 and 3 8 and 0 13 and 8 he is a recently he's been playing 14 and 3 3 and 0 15 and 7 10 and 5 he's got some pretty good games and these are l's like 10 and 5 loss 15 and 5 loss 7 and 5 loss 27 kills to win a game so hopefully we this is like hand picked i went through 50 people who wanted to do elo hell and he had the most consistent best like high-end games out of the jungle so hopefully he's in elo hell i want to find someone who is in elo hell that way you know i'm fine with being wrong because if i'm wrong i can go play with him hopefully i don't know if the mmr he might be too big of an mmr gap on any of my accounts but maybe i can play with him and get him up to diamond and have some fun doing it we'll see we will see uh i think uh, the mmr's 2200 and then booty calls 2200 i think zori was 1900 fancy was somewhere around 2k i believe create craft wait oh he's 2300 mmr okay he was the other one that's what it is so there's some 2200 2300 mmr players there's some other 2200 2300 mmr players we'll see how it plays out Just a recap, he is a gold for 1200 MMR. He says he is a master, or sorry, diamond level player. So we put him in a lobby with 1900 MMR up to 20, the highest MMR I think in this game is 2300, 2250. So we put him in a game right around diamond MMR. You can see he has a good 29 and 27, nine good match, nine and three, 10 and three, 14 and three, three and oh, seven to five. He's, he's killing games and having mostly very good games when he's playing jungle, occasional off rolls, he's got a bad game. Seems to be really, really solid. I've handpicked them out of 50 other people that had signed up because of those matches. So we'll see if that was enough to be right about this. Um, I don't know. His team is Sun Wukong. He's playing Kali. He's got Iron Alloy on his Agni main. We have Bacchus and we have Ishtar. Other team is King Arthur, Hebo Jungle, Janus Mid, Kumba Support, and a CERN ADC. I like red team's total comp, honestly, but I do like the Kali, Wukong, and Agni combo too. They'll be pretty good in team fights. So far, clear, so good. For a gold player, 1200 MMR, this is this is a jump, but it's what he said. He said he's a diamond player. Diamond MMR starts at 2K, as you guys told me. So, we'll see. Oh, I hate having the level. I hate that level up thing, dude. Ooh. They have no clear and he didn't take note of that. He also has a mana pot, which I think is really bad. I get why he probably fights a lot in mid because you're not going to regen at all. He's not dead. This is good. He's oh he had three health pots all right three health pots and a mana pot's fine he, he went he's dead so he just went in on them when they were hitting level three this is this is not the start i was hoping for boys this is i expected different what is this you blame the mid laner honestly okay hold on Hold on. I want to be fair here. I do want to be fair here. Let me see this. So their abilities are uh, coming up when he goes in right here. Wait. Okay. They go on him. Blink. All right. All right. So his, his three is down. That's Agni's combo right there. There's two. He didn't dash. Okay. Agni could dash here, but... His two's not up for nine seconds. Now. 
And this is a sketchy full engage, but uh, if he full engages here and pop, if he, if a second he blinked, if he popped his cooldown and dashed, he might have been able to kill. I mean, he still does get the dash off, but yeah, that, that was bad for the collie. There, you can't even, I'm not even going to put anything on the. Oh, he ends up dying too, which is really bad. Yeah, Agni dies anyway, true. <laughs> he should have just committed. You know he's saying like this uh, this colleague just baited me. He's level two. If he's level three, maybe he's so far behind right now, by the way. He's gonna leap oh. Okay, Wukong almost out of creeps. He just leads two waves from the solo. I'm pretty sure he just ruined the game for a solo later. I'm, I could be wrong, but I think he just ruined the game for a solo later. Yeah, Kali did go in at half health. I'm not sitting here saying we know Kali messed up, but I was seeing if Agni could have killed in mid, but there's no way. Everything, he would have had to like be in comms and know they were looking to fight. All right, all right. You're wasting so much time doing stuff like this, by the way. Just hopping in for the sake of hopping in, burning your mana. On, and you're not even looking to full commit. It's just a waste. Waste of time, waste of resources. This is his main jungle, it seems to. The solo knee to the back, it would have went to waste. Uh, I mean, you're saying it would have went to waste. He would have just TP'd. He wouldn't have missed anything. How's he gonna? How's he gonna? Wait, he has TP, right? Is he not gonna TP? If he not TP, you're right. Oh, he doesn't. You're right. You're right. You're right. He doesn't have TP. That Wukong is getting bullied. <clears throat> if the Wukong didn't have mana to clear, sure. But I don't think he, he didn't have the back yet. He because the King Arthur backed. But at the same time, he's screwed now. The Wukong also tanked two waves because of the Kali diving. So either way, I look at that. That was sketchy. He went for a gank as a level two Kali. That never should have happened in a million years when they, he's that far behind. So uh, let's definitely own the Kali. You have to like understand this. If you're jungling and you go for a gank that is impossible and something bad happens out of it, you are the reason something bad happened. You were the reason that anyone did anything. You went for the gank. Otherwise, that person would have just sat there chilling doing their thing. So, like, somebody got mad at one of the Elo Hells the other day. The jungler went to solo for a kill on an Odin. That he, Odin was full health, every active up, every ability up. Didn't even get close to getting killed. The tier dove into the tower, which was stupid, but he never would have done it in the tower if they didn't go for the gank. So, if you go for a bad gank, it is partially on you if shit turns bad. This is a sloppy game. Cheers. Does he have his golden blade? He doesn't, right? He's very far behind this Ebo already. Oh, Iron Stadium got a cleanup kill? See, like, there's zero. You have a 0.0000000000% chance of killing that guy. What the fuck are you doing? So, like, right there, if he, he did that and his Bacchus dove tower, that would be his fault, not Bacchus's fault, in my mind. King Arthur has Phalanx. Interesting. I don't know if that's... I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. That might be the new new play. That item got buffed a while ago. Uh, he's saying he's supposed to be Diamond. He is a gold for 1200 MMR player. I think this is just the realization for everybody. You need to wake up. This is this dude averages like 20 kills a game on Kali. He's gone positive in 
I think all but one of his last 40 rankings. This is the realization that while you could stop, like have really good games in your lower brackets, you aren't caring because of objective play. So that's why you're losing. But while you can play in those games, that doesn't mean you can play against people that are way better. It means you just exploit the shitters. You can't play up to the non-shitters. Because like, there's some matches some of these players have been in for ELO Hell that they look like they, they get shit on at the, at the next jump up, right? Like some of these players have been played up a little bit. Is he on controller? Um, forgot I have it here. He is, he's on PC, so I don't know. Whoops. It's not even pub stopper. I mean, it is kind of pub stomping, but it's just, you need to learn how to play objective play. Just getting kills isn't enough. You gotta be able to go for towers and, and an objective. Really, you really just have to be able to go for towers off of kills. You don't have to go for gold and fire and stuff like that. You have to be able to go for towers. <sighs> yeah, he is turning very slow. So it's probably controller, but who the fuck knows? Uh, I... Okay, okay. Get the kill, get the kill, get the kill. There you go. Now leap out. Leap out, little buddy. Leap. Leap. What the fuck? To push onward. Did he have mana for his leap? Yeah, he did. Alright, his team won that fight. I was hoping he would stun the Hebo uh, and then turn and kill the Kumba, but it ended up working stunning the Kumba and just getting a kill. Polly's a late game god, so we'll see. Alright, his Ishtar is popping off. What is he? What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> what the fuck? He's running across the whole map. Hey, we'll go ahead on, buddy. Bye. His camera angle is weird. A lot of people play at weird camera angles. Wait, is he on restricted camera pitch? Because he doesn't go any lower than this, right? Or am I trolling? I think he's on restricted camera pitch because this is the lowest he goes. Bro, you gotta turn this shit off. You gotta turn this shit off. Bro. Grab the shield buff. Grab the buff. There you go. Purple buff. Purple's up. Purple's up. Purple's up. Where are you? Is he going for the invade? Oh, maybe he's going for the invade. He doesn't know he's walking over reward. Kumba to your right. You don't see him. You just saw Kumba. You just saw him. He definitely has restricted camera pitch on. Oh my god. I I Oh okay. Okay. So he didn't alt <coughs> or play the game because he couldn't see. Anything. Okay, Gaijin just misses one on Hebo. He's level nine. What level is Hebo? Ten? Um, yeah. They're getting gold right now. This is that terrible fight. That was just a bad overall play in my mind. If you want to go for invades and stuff, you got to be there right when their buffs are coming up. Walking in late to the purple there when you could have just done your own purple and none of that would have happened. Like, just think about that. If he had never ran over to their purple for no reason and just done his own, he'd be farmed. The other team wouldn't have gold right now, wouldn't have kills. Ooh, I can't move this. <coughs>
His targeting really, I mean, he can kill Kali, or not Kali, sorry. Kali can kill people pretty easy. I like the engage against beads. I don't think they were ever going to kill off of it. I like the idea of he was looking for objective or off of uh, actives. I just want to see him farm stronger. Okay. You could have just grouped everything into it. You could have golden blade, but you could have just grouped everything into it and cleared faster. So red is up, speed is up, and he's deciding to go over to solo gank instead. And the solo gank is on a King Arthur that has <laughs> mid guardian mail already. So you have to be looking at items. You want to go for ganks on side lanes? He's never... That, it, dude, what, the, what is happening? He didn't get red XP. He doesn't get speed XP at all. You're playing Kali, just farm. You're not even doing anything. I like the invade. I don't like the jump over the wall. He has no blink. He hears Hebo, so Hebo just won next to him. What in the? Did he just steal that? He's dead. He did not steal that. And he insta died for no reason. Bro, you have picked not farming twice in a row for these deaths, and instead you died and ran at them and did nothing. Both deaths. This team is getting worked off of this too. Oh my, this is bad. This is bad because I'm not even sure. Like, the only thing I can tell them so far is to, fa like, farm and choose ganks better. Like, have, a, have some thought process behind it. He's going to jump over and just run at this guy. This guy can turn and kill him. Oh my god. Yeah, he didn't farm purple or backs. He's just running around in circles. That Ishtar just pinged what he should be farming. He just told the Kali to farm that shit. I mean, he was going to try to solo a CERN who was level 13 and he was only level 11. With no blink. And full, full HP. I get Pyro for free now. This speed and right has been up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This speed, 11, 15. 11, 15. Bro, you died and came out of base and went straight to left again. Hold the fucking phone. What? Okay, he's finally. Go That's a whole buff timer. That's like a whole extra buff of gold XP he's never gonna get. That guy's one health. Le Okay, player damage, 4k, Hebo 12k. Net worth, 6,900, Hebo 8,900. Wards placed, 2. Hebo's only at 3. Uh, yeah, this is... This is... What's he at? Kins, he's going Magi's. I don't mind Magi's here, but I don't think it's going to help him very much. The Ebo died, so that's good for his team. He's three levels down. Three full levels down, I think. 
He's just the hebo's dead, so he gets some farm catch up. Don't go on this guy. Just yeah, let's just look at him. There you go. He hasn't gotten a single wave of XP, right? Like since the first wave he died on, he hasn't gone back to a wave for XP. Am I trolling? Oh no, I lied. He took solo XP. After solo XP. At level two, has he gotten a wave of XP? It took him almost four minutes to do his back right speed from 11 minutes to what? A little less than 15, right around 15. Have I heard what's been happening with Call of Duty? Uh, no, I don't think so. I want so bad to find somebody who's really good and just go play with them. the turning for two minutes i am playing diablo 4 i'll be on right when the servers go up i'll be streaming before the servers go up and then i will be swapping to diablo when they come up i'm not even coming for controller bro you're turning in slow motion and then you're just getting popped if you could turn faster, you could see the Kumba coming at you. You could pre-beads or something, or I don't even know, bro. Like, you could see something. Ha I don't know. This is bad. He's three levels down still. One, five, one. Almost as Magi is finished. His gold per minute is 376. He's slightly ahead of Bacchus. And he's slightly ahead of Kumba. He is very far behind all everyone else. Uh, for D4, Mindy knows everything and he's just gonna tell me, tell us where to go, what to do, how to do it. I don't have to worry about like prep and stuff because he just sends me everything or tells me everything when we're playing. I've looked up a bit, I've looked up builds, I'm gonna play Rogue. I've, I played a little bit too, but I'm, I looked up builds, I looked up kind of what I needed, the base stuff I needed. There we go, okay! He's on the board! He's doubled up on the board! That only gave him one level though, I'm surprised. Is he going back in? Yo, the Kins is actually putting in work. Granted, he has no pen, so this dude is hard to kill. Beads, 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 beads! That was so late. You beads the tail end of that CC for no reason. As soon as the CERN's ult is being channeled, you see it, your brain should be saying, I'm gonna need to beads this. I've done ELO Hell supports tw two or three times. I truly believe if you're playing support before Diamond, you are not ELO Hell. You're just trying to let other people carry you when they're shit. It's your own fault. If you want to get, like, if you want to rank up, play a, a role that can carry, which is the other four roles, technically. Um, and then when you get the Diamond, swap back to support. Nemi gets played a lot in my rank games. Oh, I guess I'll back to Kali. Whoops. We, we, oh, he did his speed. He did his speed. He's got Magi's now. He's going serrated, I think. Oh, this is a good rotation, but he's just late getting over the wall. So now it's worthless. This is a bad fight now. This Wukong should not be going in. Kumba just walks by and burns Magi's. Oh, if he waits a second and leave and can go to that Hebo, he, he's dead. Oh, he got off his ult. He got off his ult. He's, he's, ah, <laughs> is he out? He's out of there, boys. The first time he's ulted. No. No. Back to base. Back to base. You lived. Be grateful. Bro, that Ezra dude said, this game isn't fair. I'm in Elo Hell because I play against masters and diamond players all the time as a gold player. 
I looked through all of his jungle games and not a single master or diamond player in any of those games. Then he said, wait, what was his excuse after that? He had an excuse right after that. It changed. Oh yeah, he said people DC in all my games. No one DC'd in any of the matches I looked up. Bro, at, at some point you gotta realize you're delusional. That like, it, That's a stretch. You can't just make shit up and then pretend it's real. It's fucking weird. I, I, I was gonna say, I wonder if he's just less used to playing for late game on Kali, but he's not because he has 26 kills in the other game we looked at. I think he just fights all the time. And I promise you, you are not going to win your games if you're just fighting for kills 24-7. That's literally how you throw every game and never get a win. It's a very bad habit and honestly no good players just W key for kills when they're trying to win. This is a good pick again. This Kumba's getting smelted. That dude died so fast. What's his build? Oh yeah, he's really far behind on farm. Oh, he's a wing blade and a magi. His build's kind of poo poo. Why the fuck does he have a mat or a wing blade? He's a wing blade for zero. Re oh, is he gonna go? Go, go, go. It's your moment. This is your moment, little guy. You need that. All right. He's four levels down. Fuck is Wing? George W. This dude needs pen so fucking bad. <clears throat> Bro, the Kumba build isn't just selfish, it's just bad. Like, the wing blade has no value. You're killing Kumba. They don't have, like, if, maybe if you were being locked down, like, at, towards the end, end of the game. Oh! He didn't do anything there, but they got a pick. Go in. Oh, he jukes. Go in. Go in, little buddy. Go! Blink! Why won't you blink? What the fuck is happening? There's a whole fight going on. You're just watching this dude look the other direction. What the fuck? Zero percent chance this dude is diamond, diamond level or diamond worthy. This is the gold mentality. It's the W key for kills and then you say your teammates are bad and you can't win. But in reality, you're just W keying for kills the whole time and your team is fighting with you for no reason. And then you get no objectives. And you never win a match and you think your kills were relevant. Dream your poo poo L level. Actually, I guess you're just poo poo L. Poo poo level. Does he have camera pit? Camera. He has restricted camera pitch on you. Yeah. He has to because he never goes lower. He can't look up. He's never looked up at all. And he, when he looks down, it's like at a weird angle. It's not the normal down. He's attacking slow because he's behind as fuck. Is he finished serrated now? He's got serrated. He's got oboe. Okay. okay. Let's see if he's cooking, boys. When I played on console, did I play on restricted camera pitch? Um, I don't remember when we played for worlds if I did, but like now I don't. I don't think I did, but maybe. You should just have it off. It's it's terrible. You have very little control of your character and your your point of views that you're like, look at this POV, it's ass. Cause he's just going straight down to the to the bottom. He's, he engages straight at them, he's just dead. Yeah, this is one hundred percent just low level mentality. At least he sidestep that. There is no time to rest. You guys gotta learn when you play jungle to flank and come in from the side or the back and stop running straight at people. This Hebo is still here. Is he going to catch him? Oh. 